text of that is in the book. And I just want to give you some key points. Uh, Rolf told me that I started working in a past incarnation. That this work is a continuation and your writing is like a messenger. You're receiving certain things. These are just snippets. You're receiving certain things. You have connections. There is a powerful energy in line with higher forces. You have the chart of a true writer. You didn't know I was writing. It seems like you have a mission. To him, I was his sales manager. It seems like you have a mission. A mission to transmit a message. It is so strong. You understand certain knowledge of the universe. There will be a religious form to your work, but you know that science requires proof, and you will put things with proof. This is important to, to you. Things have to have a definition. Remember that, definition. What you have to do is so important that you will always have messages. You are an age of discovery of God. You are preparing yourself for a new level of understanding, a new era will men work, where men will be different. You know things are changing. This is part of your mission. There is an unphysical force that needs and wants to work with you. It is from another dimension. It was, it blew me away. It absolutely blew me away. Uh, what do I got here? No future other topics from um, He also shared with me, and I, I know why I put this in here, he also shared with me that I have particularly strong bonds with my mother, who we mutually chose to come down. She uh, agreed to bring me here. It was done before I even came here. And I was also told that my wife and I had decided to return together again, that we are called what's called twin soulmates. Uh, we're pushing on 40 years, and, um, and we are soulmates. Um, hours after reading A Special Lamb, after, hours after my reading, literally hours after my reading, a lamb, I call him a special lamb, was born in a place called Met Heaven, New Zealand, uh, spelled M-E-T-H-V-E-N, and uh, cared for by a veterinarian, veterinarian named Stephen Williams. We're going to get into some messages now. Chapter 10 is the story of a special net lamb named Lotsa. That's Lotsa. It's a paradactyl lamb. It means it has more than one leg. This particular lamb has seven legs. That's the place he was born. It's not far from Christchurch. Uh, it's in the mountains in the valley called uh, the Plains of Canterbury in Manhattan, New Zealand. In early August 2007, my Mike Marine advised me there was a land born in New Zealand with seven legs. <coughs> Oddly, at that time, I was researching dominant words in Revelation. So when I was doing my Revelation research, including seven and lamb, because the words seven and lamb dominate. There was one of the two most used words in all of Revelation, including seven and lamb, two of the most common words in Revelation. I had also just experienced two meaningful encounters with wildlife. My instinct said that the lamb was a sign. I'm not going to tell you about my meaningful encounters with wildlife. That will go in, in book two because I, a lot of people, I think, will think I'm a little odd at talking to animals and insects. Uh, my instinct said the lamb was a sign. I sensed a need to study every detail of this lamb they called lots of. In July 27, July 27th, 07, Lotso was born in Medhead, New Zealand. Now you can see I found out about this in early August. There's a reason for all this. July 27th, 07, there was a lamb uh, born in Medhead, New Zealand. Um, the name was Lotso. I keep wanting to say his or her, but you'll find it in a second. It was also um, hermaphrodite, isn't it? Yeah. So it was male and female. And a polydactyl. Within hours of New Zealand time, bearing in mind New Zealand um, is already uh, the day after tomorrow, or tomorrow. Uh, I think they're 16 hours ahead. So 
Um, on July 27, Watson was born. That was within a few hours. Rolf left my house at 1 o'clock in the morning. Within hours. A Rolf's astrological reading late on July 25th, 07 Mountain Standard Time. Um, it became a very popular story. Uh, I mean, it's, it looks cute. Got to feel sorry for it. A uh, popular story that broke internationally in early August on World News Networks several days after his birth. That's why I found about it in early August. Right? <coughs> he was actually born in my research on July 27th. Little Lotsa. I saw Little Lotsa on the internet, a uh, new site lying on its side. Uh, it was a 60 old land, it seemed so helpless. It seemed innocent. Uh, I had many emotions with this land. Uh, the land came into the care of a gentleman called uh, Steve Williams. He's a veterinarian. Um, he told me that uh, polydactyl lambs are very rare. Um, he received Lotso from a sheep farmer the day after his birth. And his daughter named it Lotso because it had lots of legs. This Williams character became quite attached to Lotso. This is a comment he made. I grew attached. He was usually in our lounge. This is the veterinarian lounge. He was usually in our lounge, curled up in front of the fire. He wagged his little tail. He was a very happy little lamb. Little lamb. After six days, Lotsa was put down due to prospects of a short life due to numerous birth ailments. Dr. Williams could not put down the lamb. He had to leave that day, and he had another vet put down the lamb. He couldn't do it. Further, lots of research. Um, I was. I was connected to this lamb. I don't know what it is. I was totally connected to this lamb. I don't know how a lamb being born halfway across the world with seven legs could mean anything, but it meant a lot to me, and I felt that there was something more to this, and I started to study it. Um, further, lots of research reveals clues to a divine message, hidden numbers, and a name of a small New Zealand town called Met Heaven. Chapter 11, Southern Heaven. Okay, um, the one thing that came across very, very clearly to clearly with Lhasa is Lhasa was a rare lamb. It had never been seen before, um, a polydactyl lamb. Um, occurs once in several million lambs. They'd never seen a seven-legged. They'd seen a five-legged. Um, and birth survival is extremely rare. They have never seen a polydactyl survive. So this not only was seven, but it survived. And he walked. He didn't lay there, he walked. Lotso was a unique lamb. In addition to a rare surviving seven-legged polydactyl lamb that could walk, Lotso was also born a hermaphrodite, which meant it was a male and a female. And Lotso was also born with a twin sibling. So Lotso has a twin. And it's male-female and it's a polydactyl, and it's rare. I thought, this is some strange creature. Lotsa was born in a place called Medheaven, New Zealand. As soon as I saw the name, I, I looked at it, and Medheaven sounded like Medheaven to me. I mean, it read Medheaven, it's pronounced Medheaven, and it just looked like Medheaven. Uh, Medheaven is located on the Canterbury Plains, uh, nearest the largest city in Medheaven is Christ Church. Uh, church, uh, the church, and I thought that was on Christ Church, Canterbury, had religious overtones. But the church, another thing I thought, thought was really, really, really odd is this: these letters here, H B E M. I said, Tony, that's a stretch. I mean, Medheaven, it says Medheaven, it's pronounced Medheaven, but it's not heaven. Then I put H-B-E-N and Googled it. Guess what came up? Heaven equals heaven. The church has approved, uh, the Christian church has just approved a short version. What's happening is people are texting. And they're texting each other things like, 